these these all uh, religions which are related to Judaism, Christianity, Islam, the children of Sham, where you call these Semitics, uh, the religions coming. You have to understand one thing. All these religions have this entity, the evil force, which you call Antichrist nowadays and some evil force, the Jal. Why? Because Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he warned us, foretold us that there's none of the Prophet in the previous messengers ever warned you, like without they left and they didn't warn you about the commotion of the Jal. It will be the biggest trial and tribulation for the humanity when this physical appearance will come. But he said, I am giving an addendum to this all situation. From Noah alayhi salam up to now, all the prophets warn about the Jal. But I am telling you something new that he must be having one eye, only the left eye and the right eye, he will be blinded and it will be protuberant like a grape coming out. But he can't see. Why? Because right eye is the eye of spiritualism. The real world. That we belong to Allah, so ruh goes there and the body goes down. So this is the cause of spirituality. Close that eye. Now you don't understand any kind of spirituality. That what is my real goal? Why was I born? What is the purpose of my life? All these self-contemplated questions, intrapersonals, will fade away. And you will be only acting like an animal that you being served by some kind of capitalistic people, some kind of ordinary people because of whatsoever the reason, mystical reason that they rule you. That is the concept you have, mental enslavement, arrest you, do not worry. Why? Because this thing, this program has been indulged deliberately over the period of time. Secret societies, Illuminatum, Illuminati or Freemasonries, these all secret societies, societies have been working simultaneously with the religions to initiate to initiate to take the initiatives or in the initiate the coming of the judge but why do we call him antichrist and what's the link between that the reason is when you see judaism came they were expecting a prophet messiah messiah which means a liberator from who? From the peoples. Like Musa alayhi salam, Moses, when he came, he liberated people from Pharaoh's bondage. So same were expecting from Jesus of Nazareth because the Romans were ruling them and Caesar was there in Rome and Herod Antipas was there. So they were having a concept and a prophecy that the Christ will come. This Christ word is basically from the Greek word anointed for some purpose. And the purpose was to liberate these people from this Roman's bondage. So they knew that somebody going to come very soon after Elijah. I don't want to go into detail. So when Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, peace be upon him, came, they rejected him. After several exhibits, after several evidence, he showed to them in many places, if you read many places in the Gospel of John in the time of Lazarus when he, this event came, you see that John chapter 11, he said that I am doing this all things that people, they believe that you have sent me down. I'm doing these all things, these, uh, these uh, scenes I'm creating, the Lazarus come up, and the God, you also, you always hear me, my groaning in my heart, all these things you are doing to show that. Somebody said me, book of Acts chapter 2 verse 22. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Or Nazareth, hear these words. What? That the Jesus Christ, the son of man, God sent him, which he performed many miracle, miracle, miracles in front of you and you yourself also know it. So these things were what? To show. But what happened at the end? They rejected him. So once they rejected him, 
So the pending of this uh, slot has been reserved for who? Antichrist. They say Masiha, Mashiya is coming, but we believe it. No. How? When this thing happened, Jews, they said that he is not our Masiha because he does not have those kind of prophecies. Of course, they were lying. Jesus Christ showed them many things, but they rejected him. Anyhow, I'm talking fundamental issues here, not detailed introspections. So once they rejected him, of course, they have a slot that somebody will come Masiha. Jesus Christ, when he came, they, there was a sect. Jews sect became Christianity. Saul of Tarsus, he manipulated everything and he joined and coined this Christianity, Trinity, Greeks, philosophy, all this. That's why Michael H. Hart, he said it. That why I picked Jesus Christ on number third? Because this religion was to be shared between Paul, Saul of Tarsus and Jesus of Nazareth. And that is true. Because the concepts were coming from Paul of Tarsus even in book of and he himself claimed to be the uh, the elective disciple of Jesus Christ where he was not among the list anyways when Jesus Christ came they took him as a scapegoat Christians this sect of Jews the follower of Pauline's Paul's Paulianity I call it it's not Christian Paulianity and then this all thing changed into a new face Christianity Jesus never teach Christianity, never said word Christianity. Christian is a Greek word. Christos meaning anointed, appointed or Masaha, Mashhia, meaning some rub by the oil. That is what Christ, Christos become Christ from where Mashhia means someone anointed because of course he was anointed for some purpose. And when the Dajjal will come, he will also be appointed, anointed as a purpose for the Jews. And that point inshallah I will elaborate further. So, I hope you understand till now. Let me go further now. So, when Islam, when the Christians came, they took out of a religion and they created a philosophy relationship that he was son of God and somehow clipped all these original same mythological logos, Nima, Greek philosophies and just all mixed and blend up into a Christianity and still you have disputations over Trinity, about the, about the divinity, about the deity of the status of the Christ, what stature he has it in the Christendom, you're still debating. And I'm not one, I don't want to go into that, but the point I have made is very clear. So this thing, you have it for centuries, thousands of years in Christianity, in Christendom, still it's not resolved yet. So, Christ, they believe, Masiha was there, but anyways, the Jews, they killed him, and then he just died. After, after three days, he resurrected, and then Christianity came into being. Third, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, came. Islam, the natural religion, which was the religion of Adam up to till dom doomsday. He said it. Allah says, They killed him. Neither they killed him nor they crucified him. But it was made to appear to them so. Chapter 4, verse 157. They thought that what they, this is what they did. But Allah says, no, it hurt him. And for surety, they killed him not. We believe Jesus Christ was not even had a bruise under these all trials and tribulation and ordealment. Allah took him up alive, not from the cross, but from another other situations. And nothing was happened. Nothing, not a bruise doodled on him. And he's alive and Allah took him up alive and he's going to come back. But over here, other places, Jews, they said that we got rid of him. And Christian took him is a great redemption. So whatever was a good riddance for the Jews, later on came the good redemption from the, for the Christians. And this is what they are doing, this fast and loose sickness, this circus that is happening for thousands of years in Jews and in Christians. That is why Allah says you share the same book, but you have disputation from one another. Chapter 2, verse 124, Surah Al-Baqarah. Allah says that you, you have saved sharing the same book, but you have differences in your hearts. Of course. 
So now understand the situation. Jews, they think that we killed Mashiha, we killed Jesus, sorry, son of Mary, who was supposed to be Mashiha, but they killed him, so he's gone. He was an imposter. Astaghfirullah. See, according to Jewish concept, they are true because they say we killed him. If he was a Mashiach or prophet of God, he wouldn't be killed. But we killed him, he couldn't be killed. But he killed him, so that's why he was imposter. That is enough proof for any person to be false. Christian, they took it. Yeah, he was killed anyways, mysterically. Now he's son of God. Anyways, I don't want to go into detail. It doesn't make sense at all. God cannot die. God died. How can you prove? How can you convince people with this kind of philosophy? God died for three days. Islam says, no, he was the messenger of God. More rational. The most rational explanation. Islam said, no, he was not killed. He was not even put. Allah took him up alive. And this whole case has been respited. Till and the jury will come. Again, all this, you know, trial for the uh, uh, doc. Uh, trial, it will happen again when Jesus Christ will come back. But what is the problem? The problem is Jews think that he was imposter 2000 years back. Now the person who gonna come will be the Mashiach, the Christ which we were awaiting for thousands of years. Which Christ which Allah sent already Jesus, the son of Mary, but they rejected him. So they said no. He was imposter. Our Mashiach will come then from the lineage of David, peace be upon him, and they are waiting for him. That person is considered to be anti-Christ in Christianity and Islam. In Christianity, they believe that guy will claim to be Mashiach and he will try to rule people, but Jesus Christ somehow will finish him. I don't know the detail of this because they don't have any explanation. They have the Bible, Book of Revelations, whatever some pastor thinks he's going to interpret according to what his whims and inclination or his grain or his dogma and doctrine. There is no uh, you know, scale of interpre interpre interpreting Bible. Whatever the firqa sect you belong to, you're going to Jehovah Witnesses, they try to interpret in their own ways, whatever suits them according to, to their whims and inclination. But as far as the real interpretation of the Bible, nobody really knows what this all things about. Quran, Islam came and said, No, Jesus Christ will come, but he didn't die. He come, he will come as a messenger of God. Allah has respected this, this situation between these people. He will come. He will be the real Mashiach. He will be the real Messiah. And other person will come will be a Dajjal, meaning the trickster, the trickster, the one who tricks. And this guy will be killed by Jesus Christ when he will come because they both will come at the same time according to the hadith of Prophet and he will be killed. And that is the last time for the Jewish power, inverted commas, uh, these all which is showing to the people that are the most powerful people and all this the capital do as well as these Zionist people all these people will be lumped up with the Jal the trickster and they think that they go he gonna help them and all situation but the point which I'm gonna make is now I'm gonna tell you why I tell you all these things because as the Western people Orientalists to Occidentalists and Occidentalists to Orientalists they don't know what is this all the Jal Fitna? Most of the people, they evade themselves from these matters. This is, this is all our speculations. We really do not have to believe in these anomalies. These are self-created for, for your people, you know, for empathy or sympathy, etc. No, there is an evil force behind you and you can feel it. Some things are happening which all the world are going into one current, one waves. And that waves is new world order. Ordo seclorum. This novus ordo seclorum. This is the new dollar bill. These symbols, these signs, they have these messages, hidden messages from thousands of years. Messages of fascism, messages of this uh, signs of one eye, which Prophet have warned before, all these things. So the point is, having understood all these things, now you have to see why Prophet ﷺ mentioned about this fitna to be very extreme in intensity, in nature. 
because the things this fitna the jal gonna bring with, with the hands of the jewish people this is what all about having said all those things let me rephrase it again so jews they killed jesus the son of mary in the concept or pretext of that he is not befitting into our uh, criterion of mashhiyah so they killed him christians they took out of some mystical religion from the death inverted commas of jesus christ islam says that he was not killed nor crucified and he will be coming back when the dajjal will come so the dajjal is the entity which is jews uh, like a waited entity with jews are waiting for 2000 years now and other hand christians they believe that jesus christ will come and you know it's all like rapture rapture and they he will take them up in the heavens whatsoever islam says that jesus christ will come when there will be armageddon hermageddon the great war you know when the war between uh, which will be fought between the forces of evil and good that time jesus christ will come and these all events happen when jesus christ will come he will kill that person if you see if you read matthew 24 24 jesus christ says and lo you will see that there will be the person who say i am christ you will see another person i am christ then he said that be you my disciple be warned and there shall rise many christ false christ and the false prophets even to show you many signs and the wonders and the feats even my own elective disciples could be deceived by these such miracles and the feats jesus christ said that did this will happen and that is what he will do he will come and he will tell to the people that i am mashia i am mashia the jal but he will not say the jal of course this is the terminology prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam educate us so he what he told us that this guy will be anti person he will be claiming to himself to be a mashia but he will not he will be not the mashia because the prophet isa alaihi salam the messenger isa alaihi salam was the real mashia he came and they rejected him 